King David trusted in Jesus and Jesus' power and strength had won in many, many battles. But this latest victory he won, he nearly defeated everybody. And it went to his head. He started to believe the lie. He could let his guard down now. He was more at peace. And he didn't go out to fight with the rest of the army in the spring. He let others fight his battles for him. And he got lazy. The Bible says he didn't get off, up of, off his sofa until evening dropped his guard again. Then he was walking on his rooftop and saw Bathsheba bathing and he inquired, dropped his guard again. And before long, out of nowhere, it happened. King David had committed adultery and ended up committing murder and it totally floored him, his sin, for more than two years. It's easy as a Christian sometimes to believe that lie that we've done something great for Jesus, we've served in church, we've preached an amazing sermon, we've witnessed to our friends, we've done well at work, and then to think it's on us and let our guard down. Before long, we get lazy, we get proud, sin creeps in and out of nowhere, we get floored by something. And all the joy of trusting in Jesus have been knocked out of us, sometimes for a long time. David fell for the lie. And so do we. Remember what Jesus said to the disciples in the garden, stay awake, stay alert, keep your guard up, keep your hands up like you hear a boxing coach scream to the fighter, stay awake, stay alert and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Let's all turn from this lie together that we can let our guards down, keep them up, keep looking to Jesus for everything. Turn to Jesus and live. Why would you die?